Today we are going to be designing a photo booth start screen using Canva and Fiesta. Let's jump right on into it. First thing we want to do before diving into our design is double checking our dimensions from our little PBS Go cheat sheet. Create a design, custom size, and we're going to type in 2048 by 2732 pixels. We are designing a start screen for a wedding today and the client just filled out my photo booth customization questionnaire. So we are going to use that as our inspiration and our sort of mood board, if you will. Grab all the details we need for this design. It's a great thing about HoneyBook if you're using that as your CRM. You can customize questionnaires so that your clients can upload files directly into the questionnaire responses. This is going to be a drop off. It looks pretty earthy. We got some florals. The engagement picture that they sent me is them overlooking like a mountain and some water. It's beautiful. Okay, I know my clients want a simple image with text over it. The text that they want is their names, the date, and tap to start. So pretty simple. I am going to see what fonts I'm liking here in Canva. I think the bottom font in this pair could actually work pretty well. Delete that one and type out their names. And then I will do the date in a second one. So I'll duplicate that. Put the date. I'll make the date text a bit smaller. I do tap to start in the same font down at the bottom here. Perfect. We can bring in their image. You can either put the picture in the corner and drag it down until you like how it looks, or you can just right click on it, scroll down, and click set image as background. Now that the image is in the background, I am going to make the text pop a little bit more. So we're going to change the color to white and we are going to click on effects. I want to increase the intensity on the lift a bit more. Next, I want to animate the tap to start because I want that to stand out to people as they're coming up to use the booth so it's very clear what they have to do. So I'm going to click on animate, text, and then let's try out a couple of clarify. Not exactly the vibe. Let's try merge. I like that one. Once I like the design, I'm going to click on share and then download. Make sure that your file format is an MP4 video if you have any animations or elements that you want moving. So I'm going to go download and now all we have to do is upload it into our event in Fiesta. Go into events and under the interface settings, I am going to click on tap to start. I'm going to click on change, upload from your device. Select file. You'll be able to see a preview of what it'll look like. Upload and you'll get the little live view on the side. And then what I do in my business is once I have my template design or overlay and my tap to start screen ready to go, I will send a questionnaire to the client via my CRM HoneyBook and I will ask for their approval. So they can either say, yes, this is perfect, let's do it. I like it, but let's tweak a couple things. Or they can just outright say, no, this is not this is not it and we want to completely scrap this idea and start from scratch. They can do that super quickly without a ton of back and forth just by sending them one questionnaire and then I will make any updates they want from there. It is as easy as that. That is how you design a tap to start screen using Fiesta and Canva. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel to make sure that you are always informed whenever I post a new video. To see what I have going on behind the scenes, be sure to follow me at NW Rose Events. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy boothing.